Introduction to Memory System in Computer Organization and Architecture Computer Organization and Architecture deals with the different functional units of the computer and how they are interfaced, their components, the functionalities, their implementations and their optimizations. The programs and the data on which they operate are kept in the memory. For execution, these are to be transferred between the memory and the processor. Thus, the memory system is interfaced with the processor. In the past, the processor was slow, so the memory system could cope up with that. But as time passed by, the processor speed evolved much about up to million instructions per second. But the memory is not capable to provide that much instructions per second. The performance of the whole system is not only dependent on the execution speed of the processor but also the speed with which the instructions and data can be transferred between the memory and the processor. So we need our memory to be fast. But if we go for a fast memory, cost will be high and hence we cannot have large enough memory. But we need large memory too to keep large quantity of data. Thus, the memory should be large, fast and at the same time it should be cost effective. In memory system of CO, we should deal with the individual components of the memory, their organization and how can we increase the speed of the memory, for example by using cache and how can we have a large memory, for example by using secondary memory and by virtual memory concepts. And also, how can we make it cost effective by choosing different components of the memory in a proper way and by choosing a proper memory organization way.